Hi, my name is Bjergsen from Team Solo Mid. This is my basic champion's guide to Lux. I think Lux is actually a pretty strong champion in solo queue because a lot of people don't really respect her burst and her pick potential. Uh, once you start grouping up, uh, as soon as you land a binding or your teammate lands a CC and you can follow up, uh, it's pretty much just easy kills and she scales really well into the late game. Some of the things that she's not as good at in solo queue is She's still very mobile, so if your teammates aren't doing well and you're getting roamed on, roamed on by like a Blitzcrank or all, a lot of different mobile champions, that's where she has a lot of issues. So be careful picking into a bunch of champions that uh, have a lot of cap closures and a lot of jumps. Lux's laning phase early on is really simple because pretty much all you do is just throw out your E and auto to proc your Thunderlords. And you kind of play off your Thunderlords or play off if your opponent is being overly aggressive or wastes his spells. If you ever waste a spell and you have the upper hand, take another trade and then and then back off. You want to make sure that you're not putting yourself too aggressive because Lux is still very, very easy to gank. But if you stay at a range, it's very hard for them to abuse you. Late in the levels, if you ever need to recall, I recommend alting the, the wave. It just gives Lux a lot of lane control and the opportunity to recall whenever she wants to. When you land the Q, you just want to instantly follow it up with an E and an ulti. That's the most effective combo and it can do pretty much 80% of someone's HP in the early game laning phase. Also a good trick for laning with Lux is standing behind one of their minions and you can shoot your crew through your minion. They also have the full effect now uh, after her buffs sometime last season. So people don't really expect the Q to go through and then being able to actually hit it. And people like to hide behind their minions to avoid skill shots. For Lux, her positioning is pretty simple. You just want to be positioning together with your AD carry or together with whatever backline champions you have. And you just want to be either looking for some kind of pick on their backline, like bursting down one of their backline champions, but generally that's really hard to do. So you can use a lot of your abilities to zone your Q and your E. That stops their backline from doing damage because they're going to have to either take the damage or avoid it and not do damage. Or you can just look to burst down any target that might be nearby. Maybe it's like a somewhat squishy jungler or a bruiser. Just make sure that you're throwing out your shield on as many teammates as possible or just whatever teammate is in need. I always find it really useful to get the scrying orb or the blue trinket because if someone's just barely escaped with low health, you can scout them out with the blue trinket and oftentimes they're actually just going to auto attack it. And while they're in that auto attack animation, you can get the ult off and kill them. It's really helpful for killing people far across the map. Some of Lux's hardest matchups are definitely really mobile assassins because if you ever end up missing your Q by them either dodging it or avoiding it with one of their abilities, you're going to be really vulnerable to getting killed. And your shield is not going to help you through their high burst. Champions like Fizz, Zed, and Kasadin, they all are really mobile and have ways of dodging your skill shots and pretty much just renders you really easy to kill afterwards. Make sure you look for items like Zhonya's is really helpful against Fizz and Zed to avoid their ultimates and it's mainly just holding onto your Q and never using it until you're sure you can hit it. For runes on Lux, I like to run Magic Pen Reds, HP per level yellows, 6 CDR scaling blues and 3 AP scaling blues. I only go 10% at level 18 because my build involves 30% CDR which means that I don't want to overkill and of course AP coins. For masteries, I like to run 12, 18, 0. Instead of the secret stash or biscuits, you can also go for longer blue buff timer or the assassin. I think any of these masteries are really strong. I just personally prefer the biscuits. They make your lading really strong and safe. I've seen a lot of people run intelligence for the 45% cooldown reduction, but overall I think magic pen is a lot more important and the extra bit of CDR is not really going to be a game changer. Assassin as a mastery is mostly for champions that will be split pushing and side laying a lot because obviously it only is effective when no allies are around so it's good on stuff like Ari and LeBlanc if you're spending a lot of time in the side lane split pushing. I almost always start E at level 1. You can go either Q at level 2 or W at level 2 depending on your matchup. If you're going to be taking a lot of harass I recommend uh, W. For overall maxing, you want to max E into Q into W. You just want to be maxing your damage spells as much as possible because once you get higher in level Lux, that's a lot of one shot potential. For summoner spells, there's a lot of different options you can go. I see some people in solo queue going Ignite, which is really greedy, but you can make it work. Other than that, you generally want to be going Heal or Cleanse as your main summoners. 
And if you really like playing with Teleport, that can benefit you as well. Teleport can give you a really strong early laning phase because it allows you to TP back in lane and help your teammates if they ever get ganked or if there's a huge fight going on, you can join them instantly. For Lux item build, I always start with Doran's Ring and I go into the Frost Queen's claim as soon as possible. Even if it got nerfed, I like to go for both the Frost Queens and the Morellos. So I get a ton of mana region, ton of CDR, and the active, the ghosts, help you set up kills and landing your skill shots a lot. After the Frost Queens and Morello, I go with Sorcerer's Shoes because I have 10% cooldown from my runes, so I don't need the extra CDR. I've seen some people go with Swiftness Boots, and maybe if that's your preference, that's fine. But personally, I like having more damage from the Magic Pen. For the items that you want to build after your core, you can go Void Staff if they have a lot of MR. Death Cap if you just want uh, straight damage. Sonyas if you want the defensive. There's a lot of different builds, but you just want to end up with a combination of these, including maybe Ludens or Lich Bane in the late game. Obviously at level 1, you'll be having two Biscuits, but later in the laning phase, the amount of pots that I buy really depend on how hard my lane is going to be. Am I against something like Syndra or a Zed or a LeBlanc where I want more potions to constantly be high on HP? Maybe I'll buy three or even in extreme cases I'll buy four. If it's an easier lane, maybe I'll only buy one or two when I come back from base. So it's going to depend on what items you're currently buying, how much gold you have left, and how hard your laning phase is. Thanks for watching this basic champion's guide for Lux. Make sure to check out the rest of the guides over at lawclass.com.